times. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about, sweetie. That's what we're here for. You don't have to be sorry about crying. <clears throat> well, I don't know too much about expressing my feelings. Um, I'm not much of one for uh, talking to strangers. But I guess this is supposed to help me. I miss my wife. And my son too. He was starting his second year of college. And he was a footballer. Soccer. He was very good. He had a scholarship. Well, the rains came along and we just weren't expecting it. He, you know, uh, Jesus, I, I, I've had so much rain in my life. I was brought up in Scotland, but this was something we weren't expecting. It came so suddenly. I think back to, to news footage I've seen of, of past um, storms and of floods, and I always think to myself, how could you let a flood kill you? You know it's coming. We didn't know it was coming. It came so fast and with such intensity. There was nothing we could do. I caught a glimpse of my wife's eyes as the water took her away. And then it took me and it smashed me against the side of the house and then it just lifted me up onto the roof. I looked around for, for Gretchen and for Gregory but all I could see was the water rushing by. Later they found Gregory. He was wedged up under the pickup truck. And they found Gretchen a couple of miles away. I never thought it could happen to us. That's all I have to say. Thank you for sharing, Hamish. Anyone else? <laughs> 